Hi, this is Pastor Coy Sampson with the Mace Road Church. Welcome to Psalms 365.1, where we will be praying through the book of Psalms one day at a time, asking God to shape our lives to the truth of Scripture in Christ Jesus, devoting ourselves to the heart of God as revealed to the psalmist by Holy Spirit, and praying the Holy Scriptures back to our Father in Heaven. Welcome to day number 8 of 365 days, praying through the Psalms. Today we are in Psalm uh, 6, verses 1 through 10. And the theme of Psalm uh, chapter 6 is trouble and trust. Really, trouble and trust. We will have troubles. In this life, you will have troubles. But God is our deliverer. God is our rescue. In Him we can trust. In, in Him we have our hope. And so, really, David asks a, a question in the psalm is, How long, O Lord? How long? How long will we have trouble? How long will he have discipline from God? And, you know, trouble can come in a lot of ways. And even in this psalm, David lists a lot of troubles that he has. It's trouble in health, trouble with uh, mental uh depression and, and anxiety and mental issues, trouble with thoughts of death and of dying, trouble with uh, being tired and weary and worn down, trouble um, being persecuted by his enemies. He was just surrounded by trouble, trouble, he was just grieving, his heart was grieving. And trouble, he said he couldn't sleep, trouble, he, he couldn't find rest, he couldn't find peace. His pillow was soaked with tears and um, um, or his couch was so soaked with tears and he made his bed swim with tears and he just he couldn't find peace he couldn't find rest he was troubled and so he asked God how long how long and we have trouble in our life sometimes it's, it's discipline that comes from God not not discipline in that he's got a stick and he's wanting to hit us with it or beat us but discipline in that he's wanting to do a work in us discipline um Sometimes because of our actions. Sometimes our trouble is because of our actions. It's because of choices we've made. Sometimes it's because of training that God is doing a work in us. And our hard times and our troubles are, are training us and equipping us for the work that God has for us to do. Um, sometimes our trouble is because we live in a fallen world where sin has entered the world and death and a curse along with it. And so sometimes we have trouble in this world because we do live in a fallen world where there is a curse. Many times we have victory and we can overcome the curse by the blood of Jesus, by the rescue that God gives us through Christ on his cross. We know that by his wounds we are healed. <clears throat> and we know that, that God does rescue us, that God does love us, that he does not take delight in the misfortune of his people or the troubles his people face. Warren Wearsby in his commentary on Psalm chapter six says that discipline will last until either we learn the lesson that God wants us to learn or that we are equipped for the mission that God wants us to perform or we are equipped for the work that God wants us to perform. And so sometimes discipline lasts that long and sometimes trouble comes, it's not a discipline. It's just something we suffer through. And our suffering, we have fellowship with Christ. In this way, we are identified in Christ. That we suffer and how we suffer and how we suffer. Um, there's a psalm that we're going to be really digging into in a few months from now. Uh, um, psalm 46, and it says that God is our refuge and our strength. He is our ever-present help in times of of trouble. God is our refuge and our strength. He is our ever-present help in times of trouble. And so with that in mind, let us pray together. Father God, we come to you and we just pray in, in faith. We pray that we have faith. We pray for hope, a hope that does not disappoint. Father God, the hope that comes from sometimes perseverance that builds character that character brings hope and that hope doesn't disappoint and in love that we do love you help us father god to not blame you for the struggles we go through but to claim you 
and your deliverance and your rescue in our life to claim the blood of Jesus um, that has power over troubles in our life to claim you father God that you in all these ways that you are building trust trust for you through faith through our hope through love because you first loved us and so we can put our trust in you and in that we pray in Psalm chapter 6 and verse 1 praying along with David O Lord do not rebuke me in your anger nor chasten me in your hot displeasure have mercy on me O Lord for I am weak O Lord heal me for my bones are troubled my soul also is greatly troubled but you O Lord how long return O Lord and deliver me O save me for your mercy's sake for in death there is no remembrance of you in the grave who will give you thanks I am weary with my groaning all night I make my bed swim I drench my couch with tears my eye wastes away because of grief it grows old because of all of my enemies depart from me all you workers of iniquity for the Lord has heard the voice of my weeping the Lord has heard my supplication the Lord will receive my prayer let all my enemies be ashamed and greatly troubled and let them turn back and be ashamed suddenly amen thank you God that David had faith that he claimed you and did not blame you that he knew that you were where his help comes from you were his rescuer and deliverer that he had faith that you did receive his prayer and help us to have that faith too now that as we pray along with this that you not only hear our prayers that our prayers aren't bouncing off the ceiling but you have heard them and yes you receive them and rescue is coming so we give you praise and we love you lord jesus we claim you lord jesus amen I love you. Jesus loves you. Love one another. God bless you.